Thanks for checking out this video. So if you're not familiar with these, this is one of my kind of opinion videos. I don't do these all the time, but every now and then I just kind of sit down. There's something on my mind. I just kind of throw it out there. It's usually tied into horror related stuff, but sometimes applies to other things like this one definitely does. So this is why buying your favorite film on physical media is a must. Now, I do have to admit that I, for a, a nice stint of time, when I first really got into Netflix, like a lot of other people, I stopped buying physical media. Because prior to that, I was buying a lot of VHS, a lot of DVDs, because that's the way that you had film available, obviously. Well, that changed once Netflix started making it, uh, giving you the opportunity to have the discs sent to your house, as opposed to having to go to a place like Blockbuster and spend that time. Even though I love that stuff, by the way, um, I still think back to, I really wish there were still places like Blockbuster or Home Video or Gallery uh, or any place like that where, you know, you go on a Friday night, look around at, at uh, the, the cover art and pick something interesting or a few things interesting. I have a lot of awesome memories tied into that. But those days went away. Netflix made it super easy for people to get stuff sent directly there to your house. And that's what I started doing. So I went through a bunch of that, and then obviously streaming started with Netflix, and then everyone else started streaming, and that's kind of where we are right now. And for that reason, a lot of people, uh, including me for a while, kind of stopped purchasing Blu-rays, DVDs, stuff like that. So I'm back on it, and I'm going to kind of tell you why and why I think it's important at this point that if there are films that you really love, you go out there and you buy the DVD, the Blu-ray, the 4K, whatever, whatever it is you're looking at. So here are a few reasons. Streaming services are not always going to have what you're looking for. I know this one seems like a very, you know, easy one to come up with and people just be like, yeah, duh. But that's the thing. Because of licensing and the fact that when they get films, they, are, they usually are only signing them for a certain amount of time. I mean, think about any streaming service you've ever used. Uh, those films cycle off, you know, they're always, they're not always there. And part of it's because, because of licensing, but part of it's because of, they can't just store every single film on their service. And now it may become even harder with so many more services popping up that are streaming in order to get certain things wherever you're looking for it, because you really can end up with this issue where, you know, you want to see something that's a Shutter original, but you don't want to buy Shutter, just as an example. But I would recommend getting Shutter. By the way, sorry for the doorbell, but can't control that stuff. But you just think about that applying to a myriad of streaming services, really. You know, you, you are not going to want to have just an unbelievable amount of streaming services just in order to get certain films that you're looking for. So for that reason, it's just not always going to be available. And if you have that physical copy, you can watch it whenever you want. Like, that's the easy accessibility. That's the easy, dumb one. So one of the other things to think about is if you love a film, the special features on your DVD, Blu-ray, 4K are worth it. If it's a film you really love, these features are so worth it. I mean, just think about some of the things that are on there. They have a lot of behind-the-scenes type stuff. If you're into that, getting more information on, you know, how the film was put together, people's opinions on it. A lot of the times they have interviews with people involved in the film, acting and behind the, the uh, camera. Um, commentary tracks. Commentary tracks are amazing because for the entire span of the film, you can watch it and get information just throughout the whole thing from whoever's doing it. Usually it's the director who does it, but sometimes they have other people doing it. Um, other people doing it with them at the same time. But there's so much interesting information that you pick up from that. And the other thing is sometimes you get uh, special features that are an entire documentary. I've seen that on some. And that's just basically an entire extra film. And if you have, you know, an extreme desire to know as much as you can about that particular film, a documentary is a great way to go. Plus, they're just super entertaining. So that's another big reason those special features are worth it if it's a film you love. Films are disappearing. That's another big thing. That's a huge thing. That's the biggest thing in my opinion. And this is what got me back into collecting physical media for films I really enjoy. Films are legitimately disappearing. Now you may be asking yourself, what do you mean by that? Literally think about it. When VHS started up, 
they started putting so many films on VHS. Some films going directly to VHS, shot on VHS and being released that way. But then when DVDs came out, not every single film that was on VHS got moved over to DVD. So unless you're keeping your VHS and you're keeping your VHS players, you're not going to have access to that film on DVD. And those films will just eventually go away unless they, you know, someone else discovers them and they move them up. So that's what happened from, you know, going to VH, from VHS to DVD. Well, then the same thing happened when you go from DVD to Blu-ray. Not everything that was available on DVD got released on Blu-ray. And then you're having that now again with Blu-ray to 4K, that being the new thing. You're not going to have everything that's available on Blu-ray being released on 4K. So you have all these steps, VHS to DVD to Blu-ray to 4K, and every one of those steps you're losing films. Unless people have that phys uh, older physical media to just keep, but how long is that going to be able to stand the test of time? So it's also about preserving this stuff in a way. I mean, we can't necessarily preserve it for everyone for that reason, but at least individually we can preserve it for ourselves. And once again, going back to what I'm mainly talking about, things that you particularly enjoy, uh, films you really, really like. So, yeah. And then the final thing I want to throw out there, I don't want this to be like a super long video. Uh, for some people, this isn't for everyone, but for some people, the satisfaction of collection, of, of collecting things, you know, not everyone collects everything, but, you know, I know there are people who collect, like, Funko Pops or people who collect legitimately coins or baseball cards or whatever. There are legit, there are people, and I know a lot of people watching this are probably th this person, who love collecting, whoops, sorry, wrong way, physical media, who love collecting physical media. Um, for a long time, I loved that. Like I said, I stopped for a little bit, but I'm back on it. And there is something satisfying about watching your library grow. Literally, every now and then, I'll just kind of stand back from it and just take a look at what I have over here and just be like, yeah. And then sometimes it's just nice because that's kind of like your personal um, your personal blockbuster. You know, you can go to it, you can stand there and say, what do I want to watch on this Friday night? And there are titles in there that you may have forgotten about. And you're like, oh, yeah, I have this film. I forgot about that. I haven't seen that in a long time gonna pop that one in so setting up your own store in a sense for yourself for nostalgia purposes that's me but hopefully people have enjoyed this uh, i'm sure there's some things i missed but go ahead and tell me in the comments if there are other reasons you can think of that we really need to be purchasing physical media and the other thing is this i'd love some comments on what are some of your favorite vhs dvds blu-rays 4ks that you've purchased uh, that you think really, really stand out from a standpoint of just the way they look or from special features or just, you know, some sort of personal connection for you. So go ahead and put those stories down there and let's get nerdy. Let's talk about it. Do me a quick favor, though. Hit that subscribe button if you can. And you definitely can because it literally takes you a second. Totally painless. Costs you nothing. And it helps keep me motivated to keep making videos because I'm just trying to build a nerdy, nerdy horror community here is what I'm doing, because that's why I started the channel. Can't really talk to many people around where I live this nerdy <laughs> about horror films. So thank you everyone for taking your time to check this out. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, keep it brutal.